extreme weather, climate change, rising sea levels, and threatened marine life. These are a few of the environmental issues facing us today. But researchers and scientists are meeting these challenges head on with the partnership of NOAA and the University of Miami's Cooperative Institute of Marine and Atmospheric Studies, better known as CMIS. Scientists from NOAA and CMIS are not only working together on these issues that matter to all of us, they are developing solutions. CMIS is housed on the campus of the University of Miami's Rosenstiel School of Marine and Atmospheric Science, a renowned leader in Earth System Science since 1943 and within one of the largest private research and academic institutions in the southeastern U.S. Its location is key at the crossroads of tropical meteorology, significant climate-related oceanographic processes, the single largest coral reef track in the continental U.S., and directly across the street from NOAA's Atlantic Oceanographic and Meteorological Laboratory and the Southeast Fisheries Science Center. As a NOAA Cooperative Institute established in 1977, CMIS connects university personnel with scientists at federal agencies to share research, data, and resources that can put science into action as fast as possible. The goal here is really to enhance collaboration so that when NOAA is faced with an emerging science need, a research need that that's really requires a rapid response, it can rely on the University of Miami to help provide the expertise. And it allows us to really have our research reach out into the federal government and become operational so that we can actually affect people's lives very rapidly. The U.S. federal government came to us to help develop a tool that's being used to predict flood risk today. And we've made great progress. If you look at hurricane forecasts, the track improvements from the baseline of 20, 30 years ago today is remarkable. We've helped understand operational fish stock assessments. We've done incredible things in terms of understanding how ocean acidification affects coral reefs. That's in part because of NOAA's tremendous efforts and its collaboration with the Marine School here. CMIS scientists have been actively involved in NOAA's climate research studies and tropical weather observation methods including hurricane forecast models and tracking abilities. We treat the hurricane aircraft as our flying laboratories. And so we're able to test out new instruments and try out new theories and get new data to understand the hurricane and how to predict it better. Within the Hurricane Research Division, 50% of the scientists come from CMIS. So without that workforce, the Hurricane Research Division would be prohibited in achieving its goal of improving hurricane prediction. Protecting our coastlines during extreme weather is also the focus of studies being done by NOAA and SEMA scientists. A large factor of coastal and economic resilience is measured by the health and conservation of our coral reef systems. In SEMA's experiments designed to simulate storm surge, research has shown that coral reefs can reduce wave energy by up to 97%. Rebuilding healthy reefs has shown to be a cost-effective method of defending shorelines. One of the things that I study that's really important for coral reefs right now is ocean acidification. As carbon dioxide goes up in the atmosphere, it also goes up in our oceans, and this increases the overall acidity of our oceans, decreases the pH, and it really spells a really difficult situation for these important ecosystems. So we built this lab because we wanted to be able to understand what will happen to coral reefs. Everything that we've done here is completely automated I and mean, really is the state of the art in this type of science. Maintaining a healthy reef system is vital to coastal communities from an economic perspective too. Coral reefs in Southeast Florida have an asset value of $8.5 billion, generating $4.4 billion in local sales and 70,400 full and part-time jobs. The value of this unique partnership between NOAA and its fellow cooperatives is equally as immense. These programs enable federal agencies to collaborate on projects with the best and brightest university scientists and researchers. It allows them to utilize advanced, state-of-the-art research equipment and labs that are often only found at university facilities. NOAA, AOML, and CMIS are working on really global problems. Forty years ago, we didn't have what we call the Global Ocean Observing System, and we now monitor globally the ocean sea surface temperature, the ocean currents. We measure the temperature and salinity at down to about 2,000 meters in the ocean globally, and that is an unprecedented advance. Half of our staff lives at, 
that's CMIS. So we would not be able to quite so easily flexibly respond to NOAA's changing priorities without kind of this flexible vehicle that is CMIS. The collaborative environment between NOAA and CMIS is equally beneficial to the University of Miami and its students. The cooperative's NOAA-driven research has created a legacy for the university. Together, they've developed cutting-edge advances that have made the University of Miami a leader in the field of atmospheric and marine studies. For graduates working directly with NOAA scientists, it allows students to get involved early on with pragmatic problem solving instead of exclusively studying academic theories. One of the great advantages of a program like CMIS is it gives us a way to work directly with students. They'll bring skill sets that we may not have here or that we don't have enough of, but it also helps us to develop scientists for the next generation workforce. One of the advantages of a cooperative institute like CMIS is it gives us a way to bring visiting scientists in from all across the world, whether it's from Australia or Great Britain. A lot of expertise, different ways of thinking about problems, and that helps us be a better agency. It's sort of iron sharpens iron. NOAA-funded research has expanded our learning and knowledge, it's accelerated research advancements, and it's generated actionable science. If we lose our coral reefs, tourism goes away, fisheries will collapse, and so the research we do is protecting that. Weather forecasts, hurricane forecasts, is what's going to happen with sea level rise and how the, you know, the Atlantic circulation is affecting that. This is science that governments can take advantage of, that all of these things affect people's daily lives. And this is what the University of Miami Rosensteel School is all about, the Cooperative Institute and our collaboration with the NOAA folks and everything they do. It's making lives better. NOAA and the University of Miami's CMIS, working together to embrace challenges, create solutions, and put science to work. <laughs>